What do you believe is the most misleading advice commonly given? If it's meant to be, it'll happen. Sometimes you gotta go out there and make sure it happens. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. It'll get easier. Life never gives you more than you can handle. All of these phrases imply some form of fate or other supernatural power that ensures your long-term well-being. Sorry, but it doesn't work like that. Lives are ruined every day. There are no guarantees in life. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Hashtag HA. Money can't buy happiness. While true, it is misleading because money can greatly contribute to providing security and things that tend to make people happy. You don't need shoes to run either but they sure do help. Any dating advice or cute gesture you see in a movie. It's going to be creepy in real life. Relevant The Onion headline, Romantic Comedy Behavior Gets Real Life Man Arrested. Try your best and you will succeed. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just won't succeed. It'll give you the best chance. But no guarantee. You can do everything flawlessly and still fail. It's inevitable. It is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is life. JLP. Asterisk live each day like it's your last asterisk are you serious? That is some horrible advice. Honestly yeah, if live today like it was my last I'd be a drug addict. Live each day like it's your last is said by people who have no idea how expensive hookers in blackjack can really get. You can be whatever you want. I'm still upset that I'm not a duck. Good things come to those who wait. Nope, go out there and make it happen. If you ignore the bullies they'll go away. Sorry but most of the time that just encourages them to try harder and go further. As a kid, the best advice I ever got was to come up with effective insults that played on the bullies. Insecurities. There's nothing like a good one-liner roast to put them in their place. Wait 5 to 15 minutes before replying to a text or else you'll seem desperate. I freaking hate it when people do this. You leave me on read. Then answer 15 minutes later. You're not desperate if you do this. You're just much easier to talk to. Turn off read receipts on your iPhone, that's the advice they need. Don't try to make money from a hobby. When what they actually mean is don't remove the freedom from your hobby. You can still enjoy a hobby you make money from providing it's on your terms as much as possible. Hobbies are a great way to make money. You just shouldn't try to make a career out of them as your I'm a musician for side cash and it's very liberating to tell someone thanks but no thanks when they try to argue my price down too much. Just ignore it, nah dude all the pen up negative emotion will manifest as depression. Totally not speaking from experience. Parents, school staff, grandparents, police, just ignore the bully and he will go away bully, gets intensely more persistent the more I ignore him. Me, comes home with more bruising. All adults, stares and surprised Pikachu, bully, does it some more. Me, gives bully a right cross to the jaw. Bully, cries and never picks on me again. All adults, that is not okay. You need to use your words to solve your problems or ignore them. Me, my way fucking worked, didn't it? Quote, when I told my dad I was being bullied he told me to tell the school. Wait a week and see what happened. If they ignored it then punch the prick because the school can't ignore it then. One of the most practical pieces of advice he's given me and it was a throwaway comment. Hard work pays off.65 years later, I finally been rewarded with old age. Hard work does pay off, but generally not for the person doing all the work. Just think, it could be worse. Someone has it worse off than you. This can be an incredibly destructive thing to say to someone. Just because someone else might have a broken leg, doesn't make your broken toe hurt any less. It's this way of thinking that caused me to not seek treatment for my depression sooner. I always had the mentality that, well I'm not suicidal. So it's not that bad. When I was being self-destructive, not leaving the house, 
not going to university and not really taking care of myself. Everyone's pain is valid, and trying to brush it off by saying that someone has it worse can only do more harm than good. Toxic positivity. Violence is never the answer. I was bullied pretty much constantly for eight years. People, adults saw but either didn't do anything or made it worse. I finally snapped one day and hit the monsieur never had any more issues. I wish I'd done it sooner. I am not advocating killing anyone. But some people need a wake-up call. Violence is always an option, it just shouldn't be the first one. I'm with you on this. I was bullied horribly for the longest time and I tried everything adults said I should do. Like just ignore them. Or tell a teacher. Ignoring them meant being hit about the back of the head with a metal watch for an entire lesson. While the teacher said nothing. Telling a teacher meant getting jumped later by bully and friends. One day one of my bullies was walking behind me kicking my legs and slapping my head because I'd normally do my best to ignore them and not react and let it happen. Great advice adults. When I snapped, turned around and punched him hard in the face. Bully looked shocked. I had a brief moment of oh my god I actually did that and then fuck it. Let's do this. I'm so ready. So I dropped into a fighting stance and I was actually excited to beat the crap out of this guy. After so many years of abuse, the bully saw the look on my face and walked away until he was protected in the middle of his group. And only then started yelling abuse. He never bothered me again. All those years wasted being made literally suicidal and I could have ended it at any time by standing up for myself instead of following the stupid shitty advice of teachers and parents. Don't cry, let people express their feelings and cry if that's what they need. Unless you hurt your sibling and they're crying. Blood is thicker than water. The thing about family is, you didn't chose them, but your friends, they were your choice. Edit. After reading comments, some more thought, your spouse tactically friends, since you were not automatically tied to them at birth. Also, you are usually more likely to relate to your siblings compared to parents. Since age difference is small, and shared experiences are many. Yeah that is an incomplete phrase. The full statement is the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, and pretty. Much means what you said. I couldn't even begin to tell you how this got flipped around in meaning. That going to college. Not knowing a career path from the get-go, will help your future when in reality, you end up with possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, as a face in the crowd of people who did the exact same as you. I wish I would have known this before going to college. I will die with my student loans. Flattery will get you nowhere. It actually helps you get most places to kiss ass. I found flattery is bullshit. But friendliness is golden. Seriously. Be friendly to everyone. CEO. Security. Maintenance staff. Everyone. You don't have to talk all the time. But say hi. Learn their names. Ask them about their lives every couple weeks. They'll love you for it. Then when you do run into someone you don't get along with. If that person tries to put you down. You have an entire building of people to support you. Learn a trade and you'll be rich. It depends on where you are and how the competition is. Yeah, where I live they make tons. The issue is that your parent needs to be in it. Or you won't have a chance at getting the job. Show up early. Work hard. Stay late. Don't get involved in workplace gossip. Mind your business and always go above and beyond. All bullshit. You are guaranteed to be taken advantage of at just about any and every job following that advice. Greater than show up early, work hard, stay late best way to be seen as a workhorse. Weird personal anecdote. Boxer from Animal Farm used to be a somewhat personal hero of mine. I liked that he was just a horse that never complained. Gave his all. And just did his job to the best of his ability. I must work harder, was something I told myself in my head and was formative in how I shaped my work ethic for years. I was thinking back on it one day and it hit me that for all his hard work and positive attitude that I looked up to, 
MF was rewarded by being turned into glue. 1. Have a child to save your marriage. 2. You should have kids even if you don't want any because as soon as you hold your baby in your arms, you'll fall in love with it. 3. Be true to yourself. If you're an asshole, then you should probably change a few things. 4. Don't dress provocatively if you don't want to be harassed on the street. 5. Money can't buy happiness. To a considerable extent, it can. Money enables you to live a comfortable life. And if you want to help people, make the world a better place, you need money for that too. Yes nothing says savings an unhealthy relationship by plaguing both of you with a major emotional and financial burden that neither of you really wanted or asked for. Greater than be true to yourself. If you're an asshole, then you should probably change a few things. I cannot stress this point enough. The whole, be yourself thing, needs to be taken with a grain of salt because who, you, really are, is defined by what you choose to normally do. And what we normally always do, isn't in line with what you should do. Be your best self would be a better phrase as it pushes people into doing what's right while also encouraging people to express themselves. Like the be yourself thing does. Don't judge a book by its cover. The cover is supposed to tell you what's in the book. If you choose to dress a certain way, that's your advertisement to the world. I firmly believe you should always judge a book by its cover. 1. The book chooses its cover. 2. I don't have the time to go around reading every book. I always thought the point of the quote was that you shouldn't jump to conclusions on what a person is like just by his looks cause you never know. Humans can be complicated. Better to be ready for anything than to be shocked when you find out that well-dressed neighbor who was always nice to everybody turned out to be a serial killer. Boys, men don't cry. Can confirm, had tear ducts cauterized with an arc welder when I grew my first chest hair. So interestingly, while I agree men should be able to cry and show emotion freely in society, testosterone actually makes it harder to cry. Source. I'm a trans guy who had his tear ducts cauterized with an arc welder when I started testosterone. If you follow your dreams, they will come true. Bullshit. You not only have to work your ass off to achieve that dream, you also need to work to support yourself until you achieve Cedrea Monsieur Plus. You need the talent, connections, know-how, and temperament to be whatever it is you want to be. Following your dreams is fine. Just make sure you're working toward them, too. Or else you're just following them to watch someone else live the monsieur. If I can do it, you can do it. It only works in specific contexts. You're fine just the way you are. Luckily the actual quote from Mr. Rogers is, I like you just the way you are. Implying that all people are worthy of compassion. Which they are. Everyone has stuff they're working on and need to improve some more than others. But withholding kindness isn't going to help anyone become their best self. You just have to make sure that advice isn't misunderstood. It means you are okay. It doesn't mean you should stop getting asterisk better asterisk. College is a place to find yourself and make mistakes. No the fuck it isn't. That's how you get $100 to owe in student loan debt that you don't pay off until you're 60 best advice in my opinion is know what you want to do and then get in and get out. Yes, I will never encourage someone to graduate and go straight into college unless they know for certain what they want to do. I've racked up at least $15,000 extra in student loan debt all because I changed majors twice. Trying to find myself like everyone said to do when skidding in a car. Turn into the skid. This piece of advice is basically meaningless new and experienced drivers because into the skid can mean a ton of different things and no one ever defines what exactly into the skid is. Instead, I suggest telling people to 1. Point your tires in the safest direction. 2. Feed off of the pedals. 3. Adjust the wheel as the car turns. To keep the wheels pointed in the direction you want to travel. Sounds much less catchy and cool than turn into the skid but it's actually helpful and informative.
Just go out and look for a job. You'll be hired on the spot. One of the biggest crocs of shit I've even been told. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.